Hello, I'm Jim. So it's early spring and there's a scary virus going around and uh, I did not gather enough marshmallow uh, in the fall to have around and so it's fortunately warm enough that the ground's not frozen and I need to dig some up so I have it. I can dry it out, use it in cold infusions as a demulcent to moisten dry tissues. So uh, we can we can find it because it's got these tall, even everything is still velvety, that velvet feel that marshmallow has and if we look close we can see some of the seed pods um, but that helps us to tell where it's going into the ground and marshmallow is really pretty easy to dig up and what i often do is i'll dig it up um, pull up all the roots that i can get break off the pieces that have new shoots and replant those leave them for a couple years they grow new roots and i can i've been harvesting these same plants over and over and over every year or two so uh Let's dig up some roots. Um, when you're digging roots, we always want to be careful because if we kick down our shovel, the way that the blade is angled, we'll end up like cutting right through the roots and not getting as much as possible. So I always lean the handle forward so that the, the blade is going down a little bit more straight. I'll stomp on it. And then, oh look, see, you can, you can see that loosening. And then I'll kind of go around on the other side. And basically loosen everything from the ground. I think one more loosening will do. Oh, we can hear some snapping roots. That's okay. Those have just grown to new plants. Once I've got the soil all loose, I'm going to crouch down here. I can usually just grab on. Usually. Oh, there we go. To the stems, pull everything up, and then I've got this nice big marshmallow root. And it looks like I got most of it out of here. Like I said, what I'll do is I'll cut off all of the individual roots, and uh, there's little shoots coming up here. They're kind of pink. You can see where the new plants are going to grow. I'll take just a little bits of root, stick those back on the ground, they'll grow into new plants. So I have marshmallow. Marshmallow is going to be an important demulcent to me for, for dry respiratory tissues, which seems to be very common in this, uh, this virus that's going around. And I'm very thankful that I have this in my backyard I can dig up, even if I didn't, you know, prepare enough last year. But maybe you don't have marshmallow growing. This particular species, it doesn't grow wild around here. You could look for common mallow, Malvin neglecta plants, and dig up their roots. They're also demulcent. But you might also think about other things you have that are demulcent. Maybe you don't have mallow. Maybe you don't have marshmallow. Maybe you live in an apartment and you don't really have a place you can gather plants very easily. Um, you might have flaxseed. Flaxseed is a demulcent. It's oily, has mucilage in it. Grind up fresh flax seeds, let them sit in water, it'll get all slimy. That can work as a demulcent. You might have chia seed. Chia seed will also work as a demulcent. It has mucilage in it. You might have Irish moss. Maybe someone is a brewer in your house. They have Irish moss. You could use that as a demulcent. You might have, let's see what else, okra. Okra is a wonderful demulcent. You could use okra, make slimy tea with it. You don't have to just, uh, you know, cook it and eat it, although that is super yummy. Um, rather than thinking about what you don't have, think about some of the things that you do have. And if there's a plant you don't have that you think, you know, like, oh, this is an important plant that I need, think about what its qualities are, think about what its actions are, and then try to find what you might have that has those qualities and actions. You know, don't have flaxseed, don't have chia seed, don't have okra. What else gets slimy? Ah. Maybe oatmeal? Oatmeal can work in a pinch. Make some oatmeal gruel. Um, so think in terms of the qualities that you need and not get obsessed on, I don't have that specific plant. Um, luckily I've got this marshmallow here and I'm gonna take it, wash it all off, and then uh, cut it up to dry. So farewell, be well.